Today I am fortunate to be in the home of one of the greatest percussionists of our time. He is a living legend in the percussion field, a brilliant performer and composer, one of the greatest exponents of the Merlingam, an academic scholar and professor, and a shining example of artistic perfection and dedication, all rolled into one. Of course, I am speaking of Toronto's own Mridangam legend, Dr. Trichy Sri Shankaran. This past year, Sri Shankaran, sir, was conferred one of the greatest honors in the field of South Indian music by the Music Academy, Madras, the Sangeeta Kalamnidhi. 2012 also marks the 40th anniversary of the Toronto Tyagaraj Aradhana, which Sri Shankaran, sir, was instrumental in founding. Let us now speak about these two very significant milestones with the great man directly, Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Dr. Trichy Sri Shankaran. Namaskaram, sir. Namaskaram. And thank you for inviting me into your home and for so graciously agreeing to this interview. Sure, it's my great pleasure. And Namaskar. thanks for doing this. Namaskar. Shankaran Mama, we were all extremely overjoyed and honored to hear that you had been selected to receive the prestigious Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award this year. Mm. How did you and your family react when you first found out that you were chosen for this great honor? Well, uh, we were all uh, quite excited uh, to hear the news. Uh, I remember uh, the news came on uh, uh, July 17th, midnight, mm. straight from the Music Academy from uh, Mr. Morali, the president of the academy, yes, yes. Uh, probably he was even calling, calling from the conference hall. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> we were really thrilled to hear the news. Mm. Um, of course, uh, I heard that uh, my name was in the top list for the last three years. Mm. And um, so um, it was quite gratifying to, to see that all, you know, uh, the decades of uh, my work uh, here in Toronto and also my contribution to Carnatic music you know, over the years yes. have been well recognized in a big way. Definitely. So uh, that's what I would say that was uh, our reaction. Absolutely and I can, I can understand completely your uh, joy in, in hearing that after so much hard work and contribution to the field. Thank you. Being the first to receive the Sangeeta Kalanidhi in the Pudukote Bani uh, this year undoubtedly has a special significance to, for you, sir. Yes. Can you comment on the importance of this milestone year for the Pudukote Bani? Uh, yes, indeed, uh, because this happens to be the commemorative year of uh, Pudukote Dashnamurti Pillai's 75th year, anniversary year. Okay. And the other Murdangam legend, Palgat Sri Maniyayar's birth centenary year. Oh, okay. And my guru, Sri Parni Subramanya Pillai's 50th anniversary year. Oh. <laughs> Even though many people felt that this honor came rather late, I think, you know, in, in my opinion, I think uh, there cannot be a better time than this. Definitely. You know, when, you know, when I listed all the, you know, the, the legends, mm. like uh, the, the, the commemorative uh, years of all these three great uh, percussion legends. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a very appropriate very time. Very appropriate, I think so. Now, uh, sir, you hail from a very musical family. Um, can you please tell us something about your parents, who were undoubtedly a great source of early encouragement, as well as how you came to learn under the great Doyen Sri Parni Sri Subramani Pillai from a very young age. Uh, well, uh, definitely my my family, my parents have been very highly supportive of my getting involved with music mm. from my early days. Um, even though my parents are not professional musicians, I want to mention my grandmother mm. used to be an excellent singer. Oh, really? <laughs> and she used to be the playmate of Kanchi Mahapariva. Oh, really? Wow. Kumbhagonam Kanchi Mahapariva. Oh, Kanchi Sankarachari. Wonderful. <laughs> and I have heard uh, my grandmother, you know, singing early morning, you know, five o'clock, mm. 
uh, she would even like uh, sing songs about Markandeya Charitram and all that. Mm -hmm. And she was a very, very devout uh, woman. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think it kind of, you know, it, it runs in the family mm -hmm. in that respect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my cousin, Puwaro Sri Venkataraman, mm -hmm. was the only professional musician in our uh, family yes. at that time. Mm -hmm. He had first learned under Mailatu Sami here. Mm -hmm. um, in Annamalai University, Chathambaram, mm -hmm. before he came under the tutelage of the great legend Payani Sri Subramanya Pillai. Okay. Through P.A. Venkatraman, I was introduced to Sri Payani Sar at the age of seven. Oh. <laughs> very young. <laughs> very young, very young. I still remember uh, uh, the day he came to our house. Mm -hmm. We used to live in a complex of uh, 15 houses okay. and it used to be called the Panjwaiya store. Oh, okay. And uh, everybody was talking, you know, the Pillai Ward is coming, Pillai Ward is coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as a young boy, you know, I was very curious to see you know, who this Pillai Ward <laughs> And then this man, you know, a tall figure of, you know, the, the six foot tall oh. in, in pure white, you oh. know, the Kadi white. Wonderful. And a very handsome man, mm. very, very handsome man. Mm. And with uh, his... Uh, uh, the the bitter leaves and tobacco. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, and then Kandasami Pillai, Ramanatha Param Kandasami, one of his disciples, okay. you know, carrying his uh, bitter nut box. Okay. And then P.A. Venkatraman, you know, walking behind him. Mm. And they led him, you know, to the store, to our house. And everybody's eyes were so transfixed. Mm. And it felt like an as if, you know, uh, like a, some. Uh, some angel had arrived from the heaven. <laughs> so that was the feeling when, 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 when my guru first mm -hmm. came. Mm -hmm. And I think my guru's grace fell on me at that very moment when I started playing in front of him to receive his blessings. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and upon hearing me at the age of seven, immediately he wanted to take me under his wing. But so, only to be cautioned, you know, saying, mm -hmm. you know, sir, he is too young mm -hmm. to cope up with you, kindly wait and he is going to come and uh, study <laughs> with you because he was so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, interested in, in taking me right away. <laughs> and uh, so these are the things, you know, uh, which I can, I can never forget. Of course, of course. It's such a memorable such experience a memorable to see your guru for the first time. For the first time. Of course. Yeah. That will always be in your mind. Yes, memory. absolutely. <laughs> Um, so uh, this year marks 40 years since the first Yagaraj Aradhana was conducted in Toronto, mm -hmm. which was founded by you and uh, several others in a very humble way, mm -hmm. initially. Uh, please share your feelings on the evolution of the Toronto Tyagaraj Aradhana since those humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think is needed to keep it going for the next mm -hmm. 40 years and beyond? Sure. <clears throat> well, I am really happy to see you know, the, the, the 40 years have gone by, mm -hmm. you know, of course, with, with a tremendous success Absolutely. where it started, uh, you know, uh, in a, you know, with a very humble beginning mm -hmm. and now it has really grown to be a great festival. Oh, definitely, yes. See, I arrived uh, in Toronto the September of 1971 to start the program. I came along with the Higgins mm -hmm. and I used to teach um, um, our friends, our Indian friends, uh, during uh, weekends. Mm -hmm. And one Mr. Krishnan and his wife uh, Nirmala, Nirmala Krishnan. Mm -hmm. So Krishnan was uh, uh, taking lessons from me. Okay. Uh, on Bhartanya. Oh, okay. And along with uh, Mr. Raju Gopal, whose wife, uh, Indu Raju Gopal, you know, used to teach at oh, York okay. University. I think she is still continuing. Oh, I see. Okay. So these two used to, you know, come. And I would be really waiting, you know, to go to their house because <laughs> first I arrived alone. I did not bring my family. Mm -hmm. My family, Lalita and uh, you know, the, the child Bhavani, oh. arrived a little later. Oh, I see. Okay. So one day I said, uh, you know, I'm really missing India uh, around this time. I was uh, talking to Krishna. Krishna said, you know, you, are, you look a little... Uh, very lonely and uh, <laughs> is, is there something really down mm -hmm. and uh, uh, anything bothering you? Mm -hmm. Nothing is uh, bothering me but I really miss the annual Tyagaraja festival which I used to go to and perform mm -hmm. since 1956 oh. <laughs> from my 14th year. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, incidentally, mm. 
I hope I can add this here. Oh, yeah, please, please. That year, Paul got money a year was the secretary for the Tyagaraja uh, Aradhana, the committee in Thiruvayar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> in those days, only the legends, like uh, Mani Iyer, very rarely, or my Guru Pani Subramanya Pillai, or uh, uh, Murugu Bhupati, mm. or T.K. Murthy, will play just a short to Tanyavartha. Mm. Because it's not mainly, you know, the it's a dedication to Tyagaraja. They, yes. they come there just to make, mainly sing Tyagaraja. Correct, correct, yeah. And uh, I was accompanying um, Valyur brothers. Mm. And um, the, the Kriti was so over and I finished uh, with a Mora. I was about to finish. So Mani came and asked me to just wait. And he took the microphone and he said, mm. In the Koran, they said, "Tanari, Taniyal, the Namasi pa, Allah karundo." This boy will play a Taniyal or Tanam. Please listen to him. Mm. That was a great blessing for me. Certainly, which I recalled when I received the Palgat Mani Year Award from the Parkesi Art Center in Bangalore. Mm. Yes, you know. So I have uh, performed at the Tyagaraja festival in Thiruvayaru without fail, you know, uh, every year mm -hmm. I used to play there. So longing for such a great tradition and such a great uh, festival, I proposed to my uh, friend uh, Krishnan, oh, why don't we do something? So immediately we did some planning and then said, okay, we are going to have it in our basement mm -hmm. and we are going to invite our local talents mm -hmm. and of course, uh, uh, the, that included our Higgins Bhagavatar oh, yes, and uh, Lakshmi Ranganathan from Kingston yes. and we were all assembled and uh, it was it was really fantastic. We chose a day and uh, you know it was really outside it was uh, probably <laughs> the minus uh, 10 or something. Oh really? Okay. Uh, there was so much snow I outside know. and I think we, we held it in the month of uh, February I believe. Oh, I earlier, in the way, okay. earlier in the winter time. So it would have been much colder. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And um, so, so you can say, you know, the, the, the brain child, the brain child, you know, the, the festival, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so I was very glad and it was a divine will that, you know, I should be uh, instrumental in starting such a great festival mm -hmm. and which has grown over the years, mm -hmm. as we all know. Yeah. And I'm sure and it is going to, you know, keep growing and there are more participation now. And then uh, young artists, you know, like you and, okay. and other yeah. other members of the in the, in the community, mm -hmm. uh, been increasingly participating, and um, yeah, I think you know we should just uh, you know get this uh, festival going, probably under even uh, better facilities. Definitely. And um, and uh, the thing is, you know, we don't want to. At least I uh, I want to see that the quality is maintained and it's not uh, compromised on any account. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Of course. And in fact, our uh, festival, I think it's, it's very highly spoken of. It is. Because the standard that, mm. uh, you know, the, that has been established in Toronto is mm. highly spoken about. Mm. I think, you know, we should maintain that again, you know, thanks to all our participants.